Hello, I'm Washington Wedderburn and I'm the Principal Product Manager for Systems Toolkit or SDK. And today I'm going to provide an overview of what's new in our SDK 12.4 release. It's becoming more and more obvious that we're at the beginning of the age of the mega constellation. The continual miniaturization of spacecraft along with more and cheaper launch options has significantly changed the calculus of how to best provide space-based resources for a variety of missions. However, along with the many advantages provided by large constellation comes a greater susceptibility to old concerns such as interference and collision risk. SDK 12.4 officially introduces the satellite collection object for modeling these large constellations. You can use a satellite collection to represent an entire constellation of satellites as a single object in SDK. Along with providing basic visualization capabilities, you also benefit from significantly more efficient save and load operations, all while consuming a minimal amount of memory and we've actually tested up to 450,000 objects with a satellite collection object. To design a large constellation, you can use the traditional walker tool or create a completely custom configuration in an external file containing various metadata. The satellite collection object is seamlessly integrated with existing SDK tools that enable coverage, RF interference, and conjunction analysis, among others. In SDK 12.2, we used ModTran to generate a data table that served as a lookup source when assessing propagation losses during laser communications. With 12.4, users who have Spectral Sciences ModTran 6 code pre-installed on their host machine can now directly connect to ModTran as an atmospheric loss model. More and more laser communication has become a viable choice due to both its high data rates and greater security. While this was initially primarily an option for satellite-to-satellite -satellite linkages, it is becoming an acceptable choice for satellite-to-ground communications as well. As a result of this integration, users will have a faster, more accurate data source that is applicable over a wider range of conditions than our previous implementation. In the conception phase of the engineering life cycle, it is critical that you evaluate as many alternatives as possible before committing to any one design path. Being able to use a reduced order model to decrease simulation runtime is crucial to maximizing the effectiveness of digital mission engineering. This new plugin enables you to integrate with ANSYS physics solvers through functional mock-up units, or FMUs, so you can create mission simulation that accounts for dynamical characteristics of mechanical, electronic, and fluid subsystems. Data from higher fidelity solvers can now serve as inputs to your SDK mission simulation without the need to engage directly with the solver. Whether you're in the conceptual design phase of the engineering life cycle, and you need to evaluate multiple design choices against a set of mission requirements, or you may need to evaluate evolutionary changes against an already operational system, the ability to quickly move 3D models from a CAD workspace into a mission simulation is a critical link. SDK 12.4 includes a plugin to ANSYS Discovery and ANSYS Space Claim that provides a seamless method for converting detailed CAD models into GLTF format uh, the preferred format for SDK. Not only are you now able to see an accurate representation of your 3D model as it animates in a simulation, you also have the added benefit of augmenting these converted models with additional features such as sensor attachment points, steerable elements, and articulations. In 12.4, we continue to expand on Astrogator's ability to design cislunar and other deep space trajectories, as well as its ability to model RPO maneuvers. In this release, there are two new search profiles for target sequences that you can use to compute solutions to Lambert arcs. You can pass the solutions from these profiles to subsequent differential corrector 
or optimization profiles to find the analogous solutions under higher fidelity force models. In support of RPOs, this release also adds a new curvilinear calculation object that you can use to compute quantities that are more naturally consistent with a given orbit than previously possible in SDK. Feel free to follow the links below to view more in-depth video descriptions of the features mentioned in this video. Additionally, you may refer to the SDK documentation release notes for a comprehensive list of new capabilities in this release. Thanks for watching and please reach out with any questions or feedback you may have. Cheers.